Alrighty. Hiya, and welcome to Fingerbones. I actually played this game earlier. It's really fun. Like, it's, it's, it's pretty fucked up. It's like, it's like a walking simulator. I'm going to turn down mouse sensitivity because I do not like a sensitive mouse. That's like the exit right there. Alright. Let's hop right in. It's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm not really in the mood. I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. But I am not depressed. I am enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. This is not the back rooms. Alrighty. Um... that nothing happens uh i have played a little bit of this game by that i mean i already beat it like earlier today so i know what to do the problem is actually figuring out where everything is when i was 15 years old i lost my virginity i shook uncomfortably the entire uncontrollably the entire time i felt that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar Fuck. Alright. What I need to do is I need to find the fl Oh, there it is. This is what I'm looking for. A flashlight. I'm telling you, when I played this game earlier, I almost fucking shit myself. Like, I was just like, oh god, this is creepy. It's, it's basically a puzzle game, but it's not really a puzzle game. A goddamn game. I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She's like her mother. A delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Honestly, it's a, it's a very, it's a very pretty game. Well, that's creepy. Alrighty. Uh. Oh yeah, over here. So her daughter's name is Katie. There are two doors here. Hold up. I'm gonna turn down the desktop audio on Streamlabs. You can get that there. Okay, hang on. Alright, both head both headphones are on. Okay, so uh right here. Okay. Like I already I already know how to like beat this game. Like, I know, I know exactly what happens. Still doesn't change the fact I'm scared out of my mind. It's finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams. And when the ashes settle, we will all be wild animals again. I am ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days. And she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started. And I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because you ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all irrational rules and inane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. Okay. Oh. I boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that weren't for scientific edification. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just piled them up near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyway. The 
The tool room has been her name for years now, and I can't bring myself to change it. Um, I do have a couple on my computer, maybe. Yeah. Uh. So, we only have two names, Katie and Lynn. Which means, by that pure logic... Well, I might. Uh. Let me, let me check. I do have a... I might have one or two. There are a couple in my Steam library, like Half-Life. I honestly wouldn't mind playing Half-Life. I genuinely would not mind playing Half-Life. I genuinely would not mind playing Half-Life. Um, but it would be like Half-Life 2 or something. Half-Life 2 is fun. Half-Life 2 is very fun. Maybe Portal. I really like Portal. Portal was like my intro to like ha the Half-Life games. This is creepy. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures and we're barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again. And it helps break up the monotony. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. I do not own any of the Resident Evil games. Things There are things I've wanted to do for years. Desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman. And now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up anymore. What the fuck? What the fuck? So that's locked. I think there's a note in here. Yeah. I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember. N N Y. The rest of the word is missing. I can take a. What the fuck was that? I can take an educated guess as to what that sound was. I can take an educated guess as to what that uh. What that thing was. Like, what the word is. Like, I know what happens. There aren't any uh, jump scares in this game. It's a psychological horror game. Like, it, it says there. Finger Bones. A psychological horror game by David Szymanski. And it's like, dude, what the hell? What the fuck? Alrighty. So, right here. And that's that puzzle. Now we have access to the storage room. Alrighty. David Szymanski? Oh, what's this? I am a bag of DNA, and I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demand reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and to protect their genes. Dreams, loves, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence, figments of our collective primordial imagination. Fleeting electrical signals that fire across our, sy our synapses for a pointless moment in time. They used to serve a purpose, and now they are needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on earth for all I know, ready to be freed from them. Is there another no case there's a button there? Okay, I think I yeah, I know what that button does. Yeah, there's kinda something upstairs. 
that y'all did not see. This is going to be a very short stream, by the way. And there. Finger bones. The cellar is freedom. Why are there finger bones there? Seriously, why the hell are there finger bones there? That's not good. So the password is freedom, obviously. Um, If we go back down... The room is dark right now. Like, the room that I'm in, my bedroom... My, my bedroom in my parents' house is dark. And it's creepy... It's very creepy. It's like 11.10 p.m. right now. Ah, shit. We're in darkness. There's only enough food for one, so she's going to die anyway. And I'm free now. Freedom. It took the end of all humanity for me to find freedom. seems to have been torn from a diary. She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers. My anti-religious artifacts. My testaments to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in the safe upstairs. I am content with the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one flicker, the flashlight died and he was left in the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her, even now. It was peaceful here in the cellar. It was free here in the cellar. And that was finger bones. That was extremely fucked up. Seriously, that was, that was extremely fucked up. That was fucked up. But it was fun. That was fun, I don't even know how long. Let me see if I can find a little game. A little extra game that we can play in my Epic Games library. Because it'd be in my Epic Games library, probably. Yeah, it's pretty short. It's pretty short. Hang on, I'm, I'm checking. In my library. Uh, any non-furry games that I own. Ah, oh, shit. I own Amnesia. I own Amnesia, The Dark Descent, and Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs. As well as Alien Isolation. Uh, Ark. Among Us. Uh, I did not unplug my headphones. You just uh, fucking died. Uh, Bioshock 2. I forgot that I owned Bioshock 2. We are not going to play Fortnite. I, I do not have the patience for Fortnite. Like, three Bioshock games. Borderlands 2, Borderlands the pre-sequel. Borderlands is a fun game. Uh, but I don't want to install it. Looking for something... Small, like, small in, like, gigabytes. Also enough. Uh, Deponia, Dungeons 3, Elite, du Elite Dangerous. For the King. Genshin Impact. Eh. GTA 5, Hello Mod Kit, Hitman. And I think I found the game that we're probably going to play next. Like, uh, Extra. Like, extra stream game. I found it. I'm going to click the install button. Install. It is a fun game that I enjoy. It I, I genuinely enjoy this game. It should be installing. Why isn't it installing? Ah, shit. When the imposter is sus... 
Pew, 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 pew. Beep, beep, beep. Bom, bom. So I'm going to uh, go to the store page while it's installing and show you all the game. If I had a thing, Mongoose. then I would. Then I would just play it on my Switch if I had the thing to, like, uh, you know, do the thing. But it's a fun game. I've played it. It's very fun. And I just pulled it up. I was, like, obsessed with this game a few years ago. And turn on my display capture. Boom. Hyper Light Drifter. It's an RPG game. Yep. Hyper Light Drifter. Anyways, uh, stay safe. Hiya. <laughs> um, well, watch the VOD. And anyways, stay safe, have a good night, and I will see you all tomorrow. I'm not going to start playing Hyper Light Drifter until probably next week.